persistence. Show up in person if necessary. During my last three months with my mentor, I worked on a complex project involving a commercial real estate parking deck. We encountered water penetration issues on the deck, causing leaks into the space below. My task was to find the most effective method to waterproof the deck and bring it back into operation, allowing for parking on the deck and completion of construction in the commercial space below. This project faced various delays and complications, and one such obstacle arose when we realized that a structural engineer was required to inspect the parking structure before proceeding with the waterproofing and concrete slab. My boss provided me with the contact information of a trusted engineer he had worked with previously. It was my responsibility to schedule a convenient time for the engineer to assess the parking deck. I made an initial phone call, but there was no answer, so I left a voicemail. However, I didn't receive a return call within the expected 24 hours. The following day, I attempted to contact the engineer again, but encountered the same lack of response. I left another voicemail, and this pattern continued for a week. Despite making multiple calls and leaving numerous voicemails, there was no reply. My boss grew increasingly frustrated with the lack of progress in connecting with the engineer. Therefore, we decided to seek assistance by reaching out to individuals who were familiar with him. Through this effort, we discovered that the engineer had recently returned from vacation and was busy catching up with work, which explained the lack of response. While waiting for a response from the structural engineer, my boss shared three personal stories that highlighted the importance of pushing for closure in crucial situations. In the first example, my mentor recounted how an ex-girlfriend needed an extension on a contract for a commercial building. She was unable to reach the building owner to secure the extension. In response, my boss advised her to choose between waiting and losing the contract or taking immediate action by finding the owner's location, boarding the next flight, and meeting with him personally. She followed his advice and successfully obtained the extension. The second example involved my mentor's own experience with a transaction involving a hard money lender. The process was moving too slowly, jeopardizing a property deal that required immediate funds. Without delay, my boss boarded a plane to meet the lender and successfully had the money wired to his bank account within the required two-day timeline. The third example related to my boss's frustrating experience with an extended wait for the delivery of a brand new Ford Bronco. Despite understanding the supply chain challenges due to the COVID-19 pandemic, waiting for 18 months without any delivery updates was unacceptable. Realizing he couldn't just passively wait, my boss decided to visit the Ford dealer personally and demand answers regarding the status of his vehicle. Despite my mentor's efforts to impart these valuable lessons, I failed to fully grasp the message. I continued making phone calls and leaving voicemails without taking the necessary step to establish a direct connection with the structural engineer. While persistence is commendable, it's essential to adjust the game plan when desired results aren't forthcoming. Recognizing my shortcomings, my boss assumed responsibility for teaching me a vital lesson, to do whatever it takes to achieve our goals. If phone calls and messages weren't effective, it was time to take action and visit the engineer's office.